Dear friends, we are facing an unusual situation caused by the coronavirus. The pandemic has already affected the whole activities of living beings in the world. The international organizations like UN and the majority of the nations and organizations have introduced their own mechanism to manage the pandemic. COVID-19 protocol like physical distancing, mask, sanitizer and soap have become essential part of the life now. The face of the world has changed in addition to the atmosphere of politics and family. This pandemic has not only affected the science and social sciences, but also the subject of theology. Therefore, the basic character of every field of life, especially the higher education and research are being threatened by a virus named Corona. It will negatively impact the collateral works and calls for support and collaboration in the research field. We know this is the time for more international cooperation and joint actions. For the protection of the humanity, this is very important. Higher education and research in the post-COVID world is the topic of our discussion today. Education and research are closely linked with the character of the ruling class. The present system of education was developed through long years of social interventions. It is history. It should not be overlooked. At the time of the outbreak of COVID-19, the higher education institutions in the world closed the rules for on-campus education. Stanford University has called off and urged its professors to conduct remaining lessons online. The University of Washington announced a ban on on-campus classes after one of the staffs was diagnosed with the coronavirus positive. New York University, New Jersey Princeton University also followed the same path. In other parts of the world, Beijing University, Oxford, Cambridge Universities, etc. are some examples. The situation in Indian universities is in front of us now. An article published in a journal on international higher education says that higher education is everywhere segmented and differentiated with the public and private institutions with vastly differing resources, serves different needs. This is true within countries and across borders. Same kind of situation exists everywhere and it is slightly different from stage to stage. The successful development of a modern education system, in fact, marks a turning point in the history of exploitation of the lower classes, castes and the women. It indeed tells a thousand untold stories across the world. In education sector, various problems are being faced due to the epidemic. Administrative problems first, the lack of the employees, facing deep uh, employees is the one of the problem, facing deep financial crisis, the government, especially third world countries are facing various kinds of problems di diagnosis, uh, hospitalization and to arrange quarantine facility for the people. Generally, the allotment in education sector, financial uh, expenditure in education sector is very bad shape. 
You see, India is spending only less than 3% of GDP in education sector. This is a reality. This, uh, regarding this uh, administrative issue, communication, controlling system by which teaching is managed by people are absent. These things are there. Lack of the skilled persons for replacing them is a serious issue. The another one, increasing inequality or, incre or incredible inequality. The word div digital divide is very popular now. Why higher education today is unthinkable without some form of computer and some mode of digitalized data transmission? The census 2011 tells us that 71 percentage per, percent of household with three or more members are dwelling with two rooms or less. That means 74 percent in rural and 64 percent in urban areas. The national sample survey data in 2017 and 18 revealed that only 42 percentage of percent of urban and 50 percent of rural households had internet access and only 34 percent of urban and 11 percent of rural persons had used the internet is another uh, important thing. The many institutions, both public and private, have using substandard instruments and infrastructure. It's another reality. The impact of smartphone, capabilities and stability of net connectivity on open education, another matter here. These all things to be examined. KFON, the initiative of the government of Kerala is much notable in this regard. Here you see online versus offline or distant versus face-to-face -face education is discussing here. Which is the way of education? A good number of scholars including some education agencies says that online is the best way of education that is suitable for reducing the expenditure in education sector. The private managements are considering the salary of the teaching staff as the major burden of education institutions. So they are thinking and discussing for an opportunity for reducing the number of teaching staffs. They are looking the period of COVID as the most appropriate time of implementing these all ideas. That is why the spokespersons of the Indian and world industries are promoting the online education. Earlier, we had discussed the issues of the aim of the educational entrepreneurs. They have been trying to harvest the billions promised by the massive open online courses. The forces of imperialist globalization is full-heartedly promoting these kind of courses and teachings. We cannot forget the word swimming without water is not possible. Knowledge on access to technology being a major barrier already exists and is not a new phenomenon. The answer of the question on education through online or offline. Online education must supplement, not replace the campus learning. 
the social reality is the college or university campus plays a critical role in society and it is promoted for a democratic and secular space the classroom and the institution will provide a democratic and secular space for their vibrant debates here the state of kerala has created an appreciable model that the government says lockdown period should be used creatively and they used online space for promoting the academic activities the government and social organizations have distributed the instruments in a very wide manner in the sense the state have various stories to tell on their activities the another important matter the student mobility of international level needs to discuss very seriously the last one changes in academic activities the effect of pandemic is seen in every field of research the fundamental science education and research in the laboratories and close interactions have an important role online teaching is not a suitable option for them irrespective of discipline it will be affected badly the society students teachers researchers should seriously think of how will overcome the crisis we don't have any shortcuts at present this is the time of challenge and same time every challenge is also an opportunity for the human kind the students and teachers should oppose the exploitation of the commercial forces in the time of pandemic and we should protect the secular and democratic space in the field of higher education and research struggle for a better alternative the collective experiences and joint action is the cornerstone of the march of the progressive section of the society salute you all thank you friends and researchers